For civilians in Gaza, a ceasefire can't come too soon. The UN warns of a growing risk of famine on top of the unstable security situation there. This report from Fergal Keane begins in Rafa, where an estimated 1.5 million people have sought shelter. It is mostly a story of exhausted waiting. Each long minute, they seek anything to fight the pain of hunger. The young, who each day go out to feed their families. A charity is able to offer beans, a bowl per household. 11-year-old Mohammed Zorab spends every day seeking food for his family. When I go back to my family with this food, they're happy, he says, and we all eat together. But sometimes I go empty-handed and I feel sad. This is northern Gaza, where hunger is worst. And so much other suffering too. Two-month-old Mahmoud Fatou is one of the vulnerable victims. The doctor examining him told us how he had died. Israel says the UN is failing to organize distribution in the north. But the UN says it can't because there's lawlessness now and that Israel has a responsibility to create security. Before October 7. Yeah. In Israel, opinion polls suggest many support the views of Zvika Mor, whose son Aitan is a hostage in Gaza and who opposes any aid being sent without the return of all the hostages. It sounds very harsh when you're talking about civilians, babies, children dying. Uh, yes, but we have babies and women and and uh, elders okay it's very very simple give us our people and we will give you food and medicines of course hunger is only one enemy of the young back close to rafa the casualties of bomb blasts and bullets from fighting farther north as the war between israel and hamas grinds on we're seeing a lot of children especially with uh, limbs blown up that can't be salvaged, can't be saved, um, including upper limb, also lower limb. And what it's going to do is it, it leaves an entire generation, the next generation of Gazan civilians, very, very disabled. Giving up isn't a choice, not with a family to be fed. A father out trying to find work, a mother with bone cancer. Muhammad's family is stranded where history and hunger have trapped them. Fergal Keane, BBC News, Jerusalem.